Welcome back. Let's focus on our special journal. To be honest with you, this journal is where most students lose marks because they find it difficult. I'm telling you, if you master your account equation, if you master your general ledger, you won't struggle with this. So the same approach is needed here. We still have to identify account. We still have to decide whether it's an asset or not so that we can be able to deal with it. But I know you and I together, we're making a team. At the end of the day, we are going to be successful when it comes to this question. Firstly, let's check this question. We are at the shops. We are on the month of September 2019. So it means at the end of the day, we need to make sure that we analyze these transactions one by one. But we are going to do it slowly. Okay. Firstly, the first transaction. This is the general general. This is the format that I'm going to record in. Okay. I'm going to record in this format. Okay. So, but let's analyze the information. Now, with this question, everything that you see here is going to go to the general general. But I want you to know when are we going to uh, record if we are given a mixture of transactions because next time they'll give you a mixture of transactions so every time you see this type of transaction you must know that you always go to the gg you do have my notes i gave some of you the notes so please make sure that you check those notes because those notes i gave you information about the gg the transactions which must be recorded in the gg Okay, firstly, the first uh, transition, the owner contributed. The minute you see the owner contributed, automatically you must know that there's only one account that you can think of. That account will be capital. That account will be your capital. So you must use that technique. That account will be capital. But what did the owner contribute? The owner contributed what? Equipment. So meaning your next account is going to be equipment. Guys, these things are easy. It's just that you don't, you know, take your time. Krishna, already I've got two accounts. But when I read further, all legislative requirements have been met for the full vet to be claimed. Already here they give you the answer. So the vet should be claimed. What we call the vet that is claimable, already I know the vet here is going to be input vet. So already I know that I must have input vet. So this input vet is one of the accounts. So already I've got how many accounts? I've got three accounts. Can you see that? But it's better for uh, like we've been doing to put them like this so that can make sense. So I can say capital here. And then capital is an owner's equity. And then I have equipment. And equipment is an asset and I've got input vet which is also an asset remember for classification guys you need to go and learn you can't do this you cannot memorize and say you understand this you must just learn and know the account Can you now this will help me a lot this will help me a lot if I do so already I know my account so if I check here, let me just move this one like this. If I check here, I analyze the account. But what is the movement? Obviously, this one is going up. Because, you know, the owner brought capital, the capital goes up. The owner also brought equipment, meaning even equipment goes up. Can you see that? Because the owner brought equipment, they've got more equipment. So even the vet is going up because it's claimable. Can you see everything is going up? That's the first thing that I do. Okay. 
stage now. And after doing that, I need to check the site. Owner security according to the rules. The owner security increase on the credit side. Assets increase on the debit side. Asset increase on the debit side. Can you see how easy is that? Just like that. Easy. So this is very much important. Now I'm ready for it. But before I can go and record, I need to check which account out of the three is our main account. So one of the accounts is the biggest of them all. In this case, the whole thing is all about capital, meaning capital is the main account. Capital is the main account. So I just have to write it and say main account. Why? The main account, it means the amount that I'm going to record, the amount that I'm going to record for capital must include that. This helps a lot. The, the fact that you know that is the main account, it means the amount that I'm going to record for capital will include that. Mini equipment will exclude that, and I'm going to have that here. Can you see now? You must always know which one are the main account. Before we continue, you know, just to quickly give you, so if you are dealing with the general general, so the main account in the GJ, let me just write it quickly here. The main account in the GJ, I'm just giving you an exam technique. The main account, GJ, okay? In the GJ. So the main account, which you must expect in your level, you must expect the following. So the main account, obviously the first one that I identified here, is going to be capital. Another main account will always be letters, if, if letters is one of the accounts. Sorry, sorry, yeah, yeah. I, I thought, uh, you know, it doesn't make sense because I thought everything is okay. Let me start again, capital. Letters control, so this will help you a lot. So that when you are writing your exam, you don't lose a waste time. Okay, this is number two, you can see. So if you see one account as letters, just know that letters are is the main account. And we've got creditors. Control. And number four, we have got drones. So these will be your main account. So if you see them, just know that they are the main account. I'm talking about what? I'm talking about the GJ. So you are saving time. So already, because capital was one of them, it's the main account. So this will guide you. OK, no problem. Now we're ready to record. So this means, therefore, this amount is including that. Already, I know. This amount will be claimed by what? Will be claimed by capital. Because it is including that. Remember, the main account take the amount with that. So I know already the amount of 35,000 will be taken by capital. Can you see And then obviously, I must calculate that. How do we calculate that here? Remember, because it's inclusive of that, I think you're not surprised. I'm just going to say 15. Divide by 115 times 35,000. Can you see now? How much do I get? I get something like 53.36. So 53.36 will be my bet. So here I'm just that is 53, that's my bet, 53.36, and therefore 35 minus 53.36, you just have to say 35 minus 53, no, so this one was supposed to be for bet, sorry, sorry, this is the bet, sorry. I made a mistake, I feel bad when I make a mistake. It's the best. So for you to find equipment, you just find the difference between the two. So 35 minus 53, 6. 
25,000 or what? Yes, so 35 minus 53, let's see. Is it 53? No, no, no. I think my calculations are wrong. No, it can be 53. Come on. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Let's do this. Let's change. 35, 1, 2, 3 times 50. Hey, today, I think I'm tired. The answer is 4, 5. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, I made a mistake. 4, 5. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Sorry, my calculator. No? I don't know what's happening. So I think I didn't delete some of the digits. 22. Uh, everyone make mistakes, come on. Everyone make mistakes. So, and then we just, that's why we call auditors, they come and check our mistakes. That's how I console myself, because when something is wrong, I feel bad. Finishing up. So, sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. So, this is what I'm going to have. So, these minus these, the same minus, 35, 1, 2, 3. I get something like... Uh, 34, 34.78. Okay, so this is how I found my figures. Okay, so it's the same procedure as the other books, it's just that this one the format is different, but the main account is still important. So the main account will always take the amount, including that. You calculate that, the difference is taken by the other account. So always make sure that you know how to do that. So now I go and record. Remember when you record, uh, the amount with uh, the, uh, the accounts debited will always come first. That's a rule. Okay. So the account debited in this case, if you check, so the account debited is what? You can see that we've got equipment and Input. So I'm going to start with equipment. This number one, just going to write number one. Equipment here. I'm just going to minimize this a bit so that we can see. So I'm going to start out there. I'm going to say on the first, uh, let me change the color here like red. Red is for danger, you know, that is for black, if you know what I mean. And then the account and the amount for that equipment, if you remember very well, it was 34, 34, yes. I'm going to go and check the calculation, you'll see. So it has been debited. I'm going to go there and put it on the debit side. Can you see now? And the account credited. No, we still have input vet as account debit. Remember, you record the, um, the account debited first. We still have input vet. Still have input vet. And how much was that input vet? It was 4,000. Remember that? Yes, 4,000. I'm just going to put it here. 4,000 then. It's now. It is 22, yes. And then we have capital. Which must be created. Remember, don't put them in line. Capital, just put it a bit further here to show that it's going to the credit side. And for the capital, you can write the fact that this is the main, you know, just for, you don't have to write it. I'm just saying, I gave you the notes already. But the fact that we need to know that this is what? This is the main account. You know, if the main account is in food fair. So if you check here, now you can see we're going to add the two amounts, and those amounts will take us to remember the amount there was 35,000. So, this makes sense as you can see. So, all the information is there. If I can go down, can you see all this information is there. I can you see I created capital, I deleted equipment, I deleted equipment. So, the figures are here. I just went there. Can you see if you analyze everything is there? Okay. And then sometimes they can ask you for something called narration. Uh, if they ask you for narration, in the way they just want you to summarize what you just recorded. So what you can do here, you can just come here. No, not there. I'm still coming to that question. And then you just have to write here at the bottom. You can just say the owner contributed equipment. 
So we call this a narration. Now, so now, a narration, you don't have to write the word narration. I'm just saying you can just write the owner contributed equipment. You can see now, the owner contributed equipment. So this is the narration that they, if they want the narration. In short, so we don't summarize the same. You see now. So we just say the owner, you see now, the owner, Contributed what? Capital. So this is they we do allocate marks for this kind of things. Okay, so that was number one. Let's go and I think I'm gonna cut this video to be short. So I'm gonna pause and thereafter have a duration on its own because I know it can be confusing sometimes. Okay, so I don't want this video to be long.